he was the only person that really cared about me. He listened to me. He understood me. When we first started talking, we would talk on the phone for hours on end. When I told him that I was pregnant, he was over the moon. He vowed that I could trust him and he promised that he would be there for me no matter what and he would protect me. When he hit me for the first time, he told me that it would never happen again and I believed him. Every time that he would hit me, he would tell me that it wasn't him, it was somebody else and that he was sorry. When I gave birth and I moved into my own home, I decided that I had had enough. And I told him, whatever. And he told me that I could never leave him and that he owned me. So, one day I was walking home at night and he was in my building, he was waiting for me. When I saw his silhouette, I knew straight away that it was him. And I tried to run, but he had already seen me. I ran out to some garages, and he pulled me by my hair and dragged me to the floor and began to kick me. I tried to fight back, but then I knew I couldn't fight him off. When I called the police, they told me that I was a no statistic. When I tried to press charges, they drastically reduced his sentence because he was mentally unstable. And I decided that I wasn't going to let this experience for me. I decided to make something of my life. And I met others who have been in the same ex relationship as me, similar relationships, and we spoke to each other. We helped each other. So, I decided that I was going to study again. And with my family by my side and my daughter by my side, there is only one way for my life to go, and that is up. No one, absolutely no one, is going to stop me.